What are the following conditions? Is, is this patient at increased risk of developing? Okay. A 35-year-old uh, man presents with fatigue, pruritus, and jaundice. Uh, lab tests reveal elevated ALKFOS and gamma glutamyl transferase levels. Um, an endoscopic retrograde cholangio, the ERCP, shows beaded um, appearance of the intrahepatic and extrahepatic bile ducts with multiple areas of strictures and dilations. What are the following conditions is this patient at increased risk of developing? Um, okay, there is a... Um, there is a thing for this. I don't know the name of it. I should know the name of it. I don't know the name of it. Um, okay. But I, I don't need, think I need to know the name of the disease to get this answer right. So when I see elevated ALKFOS and then GGT, I think it's a bile duct issue. Like every time it's just a bile duct issue. And okay. so um, a beaded appearance of it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna it's killing me. That I don't know it, the name. But I would go with... Um, Rather cholangiocarcinoma or gallbladder carcinoma. Okay. Um, one of those two. I don't think it's cirrhosis, acute angiogenesis, or hepatocellular carcinoma. Gallbladder or cholangiocarcinoma. Um, what does your gut say? Actually, cholangiocarcinoma is what my gut would say. So, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Final answer. Yes. Yeah. So, what this patient has right, is primary sclerosis and cholangitis, right? Remember, this is kind of one of your autoimmune Intra disorders. And extra, yep. Yep. So it gives you that kind of that beat is appearance. Um, but like you said, cholangiocarcinoma, right? So that's cancer of the bile ducts, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's for sure. It makes sense um, because that's, you know, that's what's messed up. And so um, that's going to be your best answer choice. And just remember, primary sclerosis and cholangitis increases your risk for cholangiocarcinoma. Okay. Good to know, good to know.